Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to House of Ashes. This is the latest Dark Pictures game. You know what, you should have watched part one. All right, let's start it off. Uh, where we last left off, um, I think we hit kind of a natural stopping point and uh, uh, what's her face and what's his butt were playing together in the uh, main room uh, checking out the archeological dig. Is that clear as mud? Great. It's been a couple days since I last played, so... Are we okay? Wow, it literally, like, plopped me right back where I left off. If you haven't seen part one, uh, you need to fix that. It's not my job to babysit you, is it? Okay, so... Uh, it's time to go and do something. I'm gonna go check out the throne, actually, because I think I pointed out at the end of the last video that this was the throne room. Well, I debated with myself a couple times whether or not it was the throne room, and I concluded that indeed it was. So here we are. Let's go see it. Let's go check out where the king died. Um. Okay, there's actually like. There's actually like nothing up here. Am I finding a uh, secret? Oh, dude. Hell yeah. What's this? It's a. What a great premonition. Wait, let me see that again. Ultraviolet. Let's see that again. Okay, so something spontaneously combusted. Great. Look at this. Oh, actually? This is very similar to uh, a like Sumerian wall relief that I've seen. Yeah, I think it's like... Wow. I, it's probably intended to be very similar, but not exact. Cool. All right, well, I guess that's all that was up here was a, a premonition, which was very informative. Man, earlier when she didn't have this light out, I, I saw she still had the one like on her head and I thought that that was it, but no, it's this one. Hey, what are you doing? Are you listening to something? Oh, this is how we move on. Let's do it, let's do it, Eric, I'm ready. Take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's fine, I can fix that. You could fix that too, Eric, if you wanted to. Looks like that ring still means something to you. You just gotta untangle it. I don't see you wearing yours. Always close to my heart. All right, let's, uh, you know, it's a romantic, intimate spot right here, so we're gonna go with the atmosphere. You're always a good guy. Maybe too good for me. I'm out of water. Poor planning on my part. Have we forgotten what this ring means to me? I want you back, Rachel. Back? Wait, were they like separated? We were good together. There's someone else now. Let's not do that. We were pretty damn good together. We were pretty, well. They must be separated then, like physically and legally? Or, well, I mean, you know what I mean. I what do you want from me, Eric? The truth can be a good start. What is that? Bearing updated. Uh oh. Well, you better than you think, Rachel. He lied to me about that lighter, and it wasn't about his secret smoking habit. Eric, please. tell me the truth. Don't do this. Admit it. There's someone else, isn't there? <laughs> the bones of this temple. Not the time, Eric. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. What's going on? Blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. <laughs> Randolph! My fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. To all mankind. Mary, I am sorry. Tone down the theatrics and get a move on Randolph. Maybe you wouldn't have died. He 
He's too busy working on his prose while people die in the background. Shit. Wait, whoa. Oh. What's going on? Oh, is that Salim? Oh no, it's not Salim. It's the it's the other guy. It's Salim's boss. He's got stormtrooper aim. Oh no, Jason, he's still in trouble. He and his boy Nick. Go for me. Okay. What the hell is going on? I don't know, man. It was not supposed to play out like this. That's right, Joe. Uh huh. This is Mailman Two One Extra. Say it again. Over. I can't hear you over all hey, the screeching. Mailman Two One Extra. How copy over? Anybody watching your six, bro? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> There's something weirdly likable about Jason. I think somebody in the comments summed it up well. They said, "Jason seems like he would call me a slur." But I kind of like him anyway. <laughs> Something simple in this goddamn place? You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming. Okay, watch out here. I don't know much about this guy. I don't think he's going to be showing us any compassion, though. Not like Salim. Salim seems like... Oh! Oops! Okay. Careful. Stealth mode. Come on, guys. I'm with you. You could make the argument that me being with you is a detriment, but let's not go there, okay? I'm here to help. Rachel. Oh my god. You guys are terrible you, at this! I got you. You're putting me in an impossible situation here! Oh, we, we saw the premonition, remember? Oh, this is it. Okay, no, no. You gotta stop struggling. Come on, Eric, don't die. I need to make you be a dick to some more people, please. Rachel, grab onto something. I can't see. It's too dark. Ow, you have a flashlight. Come oh, on. I guess it was on the gun. Rachel, you hold still. Oh, you got a flare. <laughs> Careful, Rachel. You're going to impale him. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. Is he going to cut it? Cut it. Cut it, dude. No! if you don't do that, he gets impaled on the rock. Rachel will be fine. She was in the trailer, and I haven't seen the trailer footage yet. <laughs> Sorry. Special feature unlocked. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? We can analyze that last choice Poor more Rachel if you want to. has been lost. To the darkness. Oh, she will be fine. Don't you dare snuff her out. Bonds that were once thought unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. Okay. What of Jason and Nick? They're fine. Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's know. not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier. 
perhaps. Yeah, yeah. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors. What does Trapped that mean? Beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. Ah, if I can help Unless it. Unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. Don't offer me a hint. I'll deny it. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. I didn't need it in Little Hope, and I don't need it now. Boom! Very well. Didn't even need At to least hesitate. You'll have no one but yourself to blame if things don't pan out quite as you intend. I mean, they'll be entertained nonetheless. Oh, am I free to go? Okay, first of all, gotta talk about a couple things. I couldn't help but notice there were five flames on that candelabra. So, like, Merwin has to die no matter what, you would think. Like, either he gets suffocated by Nick or he gets dragged off like we saw in the premonition. Because otherwise, like, there were five flames representing Eric, Rachel, Jason, Nick, and Salim. Got all their names. Uh, so, there, there's not a sixth one for Merwin. Certainly not a seventh one for Joey. Those two guys died pretty early. So, I it makes me wonder if you could even... Help him. And Rachel's clearly still alive. Come on. Um, second. Okay, the reason I made that choice is what we saw in the premonition. Like, I feel like if you hold on to the rope, then eventually uh, Eric falls over and he gets impaled, right? We didn't want that to happen. Um, plus, I was very unimpressed by Rachel's plan there. She was literally... How long was she hanging there with the flare? Just like... Meanwhile, Eric sitting there grunting and groaning, trying to hold her entire body weight up. She's not saying anything. I would have cut the rope too. All right. I mean, I did cut the rope, but you know, in real life. And if Kimmy was on the other end of that, and she was giving me nothing, cut it. I'm no break. I'm so sorry. I'm like half joking. Oh, don't worry about it. This Everything God. You're okay. Man. Fucking kill Merwin. It was an accident. Just like the woman at the checkpoint. Don't make shit weirder than it already is. Clear <laughs> your fucking mind. He's got a point, Nick. You need to pick a battle, dude. Oh look, here's Eric. He's in uh he's in grief. Full grief mode right now. Colonel, is that you? Put on a show of strength for your soldiers, Eric. What happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. Okay, this is not a strong front. And Rachel. She fell. I, I held on. I held on as hard as I could. Nick's gonna notice the, the cut rope. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Oh. Rachel! Oh no, Nick's very angry move. now. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. Now, I'm stuck back. here now. with Over the two there. people I have the lowest Go. relationship with. I like how Nick's only reaction to that is to scream Rachel at the pit. He doesn't Look say anything that. to Eric. Oh, that's a sweet set up right there. I like it. I want a column. I love seeing these stone columns. I want down. one for my office. You can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? Oh wait, the he Iraqi doesn't know. Tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Okay, Nick. Oh no, not Joey. The 
hell are we gonna get out of this? I think that this part's like a little awkward. I think maybe because there's a couple different We're scenarios. Lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. And it's we trying to work through them. What did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. Oh, Eric's a scientist. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Cryptids, maybe. Monsters? Yeah. Come on. You're jumping at shadows. Sir, with all due respect. Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Okay. Um. Understood, sir. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. Do you want to repeat that? Oh, oh, oh. Eric's back to asshole mode. That's what I thought. See, it's a good thing I didn't tell Eric about Nick. I think. Stay and guard the entrance. We'll check it out. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you're not going to make me play Eric, are you? Yeah, I've been thinking, because I said in the last video about how the Dark Pictures games have been, like, ultimately grounded in reality. And, um, by the way, I lost track of how many of you guys were like, what about Until Dawn? That's not a Dark Pictures game, is it? Anyway, Man of Medan and Little Hope, right? <clears throat> ultimately, they were grounded in reality. I think that's going to continue with this game. We'll see. I think that whatever these giant bat things are, I think they're going to turn out to be cryptids. Like, they're real, like, natural animals. Um, but we just didn't know that they existed. They won't be, like, supernatural, like, Wendigos, where, like, a human transforms into them or anything. Um, as for what type of cryptid, I don't know. I'm not really into that this stuff. This is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Okay. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. Nice, bro. Uh... It's interesting. I wonder if they are cryptids. I wonder There's if Selene's son will show up here. Let's go take a look. Because he had quite the interest in them, as we saw in the map in his room. Need a hand here. I'm on oh. it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Wait, what? Oh, it must have been that other guy. Stop fucking around. Why would he do up. that, though? Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Yeah, Salim's boss. Oh, the light went out over there. The light went out over there. Stay alert. I had to point it out Drop to kick. This is Mailman 21 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Drop kick out. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. Okay. You're a bit too eager here, Nikki. Oh, I was hoping I could go off to the side. All right. Well, never mind. Um. What do you think? Explorers? Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, sure. Uh, archaeologists, I believe, would be the Pretty proper. Sure, term. explorers didn't dig that though. I think we both know what did. You thought you think you think the giant bat things did. Okay. Great theory. Let's take a look at this. Gods of Sumer. Oh. 
Are we gonna open this? Thanks. Okay. Uh, On eternity eating dust, you gotta be shitting me. Well, hang on, I haven't gotten there yet. Lamashtu was a terrifying she-demon, a murderer of infants who feasted on the blood and flesh of men. Wow, that was horrifying. She is most commonly portrayed as a hairy, lion-headed monster with bird's feet, often shown kneeling on a donkey, a serpent held in each hand, and a dog and a pig suckling at her breasts. Very elaborate. Lamashtu had seven names and was referred to in incantations as the Seven Witches. She was responsible for many evil deeds, a bringer of nightmares, a poisoner of rivers, and a herald of famine and disease. Very impressive portfolio there. Belt buckle found in the tomb of an Akkadian priest. I wonder if that's um, something we saw earlier in the flashback. Belt buckle detail. Lamashtu was the daughter of the Akkadian sky god Anu, father of gods and demons, and the god of earthly kings. Anu was most often depicted in a horned headdress, while his Sumerian counterpart, An, was depicted as a great bull. In Mesopotamian religion, bulls were frequently seen as a sign of strength, a belief passed on to later Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures. For Greek philosophers, the bull's horns symbolized the horns of a dilemma, an impossible choice with no right answer. The gods of Sumer certainly presented no right answer for the Sumerians. They were at once kindly and cruel, grand and petty, fallible and supreme. I'm learning a lot. Let's uh, flip the page, shall we? Secret found. Okay, so this is the relevant part. Wow, thanks. The Sumerian underworld. Pity the pauper who was buried with little. Their afterlife would be shabby and poor. Those who died unburied would have no life after death at all and would simply cease to exist. So the doorway to Underworld was the grave, and the Mesopotamian peoples, from Sumerians through to the Akkadians, would be buried under their homes or nearby. The well-to-do would even build chapels or shrines to serve as burial plots. Once buried, the Sumerian soul would travel a road to the Zagros Mountains. And then, oh, and then they wrote that right, right there, too. In the east, where Utu, the sun god, rose each morning. Here was the entrance to the underworld, where Utu rested at night. A staircase slid down from the entrance to a series of seven gates. And then they wrote, The Catacombs? The newly dead soul would meet the god Neti, the gatekeeper, who at each gate would unbolt it and retrieve the soul of some of its burden of offerings until it arrived naked and powerless in the underworld. And then they wrote, Temple built over gates to the underworld? They're not sure about anything. At the threshold, the spirit appeared before Erish Kagal, the goddess who ruled the underworld, who pronounced them dead. The scribe Gashtanana would record their names. There were no rewards or punishments here. Rather, the dead lived according to the offerings they gave the gods. There was comfort for the wealthy and a hard existence for the poor. Damn, it's just like real life, part two. I paused it, sorry. There, I just wanted it to uh, capture my cursor. Uh, let's see. Example of a typical votive statue. Right, 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 right. Can I flip the page again? Oh, it's just these two pages you want to look at, huh, Jason? You want you want to look at these two pages and uh, none of the others. Okay, uh, that's fair. Fair enough. Can't read through the entire thing uh, while we're in the middle of playing the game. Okay, I'm not sure how much relevant info was there, but uh, all right. So, okay. So what, you wanna go back this way? Okay. What's up, Nikki? Here, uh, fine, this I'll way. go first. Oh. Tripwire! Watch out, no! Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. With a grenade, dude. Clear. It's a Looks cap can trap. Enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. 
What? What'd you do? You cut the wire? Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Cause I guess the trigger would have pulled. Drop it. kick. This is mailman two one actual. Do you copy? Over. Drop kick receiving. How's it going out there, Cold Jack? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Drop kick out. I want a cool name. You're moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. Okay, Nick. Calm down, buddy. Wow, I guess I'll examine this where I hit my feet. Anyway, top of my list was Unintelligible Crow, the bulldog of Omaha Beach. We found him in Cairo, brawling for money in a Levantine drinking club. Crow recommended Unintelligible, and in Haifa, we picked up my assistant, the always inquisitive Aileen Giorno. Oh, wait, we, we encountered that name before. Uh, let's see. Insisted on the presence of her own advisor, Ellis Van Hoyten, an archaeologist I know only from Unintelligible. Our team complete. We shall head to Lebanon and from there by train to... Okay, so a bunch of worthless crap there. Great. Journo, though. I, I, I saw that earlier. Or I saw that name earlier. I'm trying to piece together if it has any significance. A-59. Right, we found another thing uh, that was labeled earlier very similarly. Uh, okay. Oh wait, no, this is how you move on. I didn't necessarily want to do that. I gotta say, waiting for us down there. the loading screens are really jarring. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. No. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Dude, no. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Uh-uh. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll hit the way. Eric. <laughs> Fine, you die instead of us. Resistance. It's safer if you stay here just in case. Let Nick and I handle it. I'll wait here in case the other units show up. Wow, he, he backed down really fast, huh? So we're going anyway, are we? Are we checking in with Salim now? Oh, we sure are. Oh, no. I don't think so, man. Oh, God. Hey, remember when a car... Remember when a car fell on the monster? That was funny. It's twitching! It's twitching. What's this? <laughs> what is this? Can I open this? Can you open it? Dar? Oh, hey, it's the commander guy. Right. Well, good thing we found his wallet, I guess. We'll keep that. Thank you. Ow, what? Will you please? Huh. <laughs> Look at how long those fingers are. My traits have been updated. Why? Oh, curious. Oh, what are we doing? Why am I doing this?
No, you know what? No, I'm drawing the line there. What are you trying to get to? What are you trying to get to? What are you... <laughs> What's the... No, 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 no. Okay, let's go over here. Salim. Get you out of there, buddy. Oh, there's nowhere else to go. Okay, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's making me do it. All right. Look at him hightailing it. Oh! I got you, Salim. I'll help you. Getting Resident Evil 5 flashbacks. Oh, the sunlight! The premonition! Dude, I would stay in the sunbeam. Where are you going? You're going right back down to where you were. Did I get him? So you gotta see your, you gotta see your boy on his 18th birthday. Okay, can we get a good look at it now? Oh, the answer is no. And I'm again. Which Americans, though? Is it Jason and Nick, or? Who is it? Oh, it's nameless soldiers. They're gonna die then. The monsters are gonna kill these guys. Oh, y'all are dead for sure. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way y'all are making out of this alive. So let's review. Three trained soldiers with guns, no match. Salim with a crowbar and a beam of sunlight. He gets it though. He he makes it through just fine. Don't worry about it. All right. They're just too powerful for for three soldiers with with guns to take on. Sorry, guys. You just, you weren't, you weren't, you weren't strong or fast enough. So does this have a, uh, yeah, R19. This one must be for the sun, but there's something missing from it. Ah, interesting. Very creative. What's it doing here in this tunnel? Hmm. Okay. Well, we will... Watch out, dude. We'll check back in with you later. Hugs and kisses. Yeah, let's see what Nick's up to. <laughs> Are you still annoyed with other people? You still here, Joey? The 
This is Mailman Two One Actual. Joe, oh do you hear me? How copy over? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. Why am I supposed to do that? I'd love to check it. How do I check it? Wait, those are his glasses, all right. It's Joey's. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. Yeah, the, his glasses are, are cracked and everything. What? This fucking place. It's all right, dude. Okay. Okay, please. Can you please get your gun back up? You know, the only thing that's going to save here. you? It's not like we decided to come here. How deep is that damn hole? This is fresh. That's solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? I don't really want to stick around and find out. Yeah. Me neither, we know bud. What we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. Stay frosty, yeah. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Something really fucking nasty went down here. Is Joey gonna turn into one of the... One of the vampire... Vampire bat cryptid things. What's this? The catacombs beneath the temple are heaped with unintelligible. Alien has worked sacrificial digs, but she hasn't seen. See, killed thousands in the name of their gods. What plague or cataclysm demands such a price? Whatever happened here a millennia ago is a uh, blank. And here we go. Seventh of December. 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. Oh, so were they planning on, like, burying these things with the dynamite? What the hell did they find down there? I don't know, dude. Let's inspect this. Oh, it's a premonition, my favorite. That was a long one. That was uh, Salim surrendering. Okay. Good. He's close. This is so fucked up. This is fucked. Wait, is it to the left or to the right? Cover me. What is this? So that's all that was in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. So uh, the bearing got updated. Don't let this place fuck with you. Nah, we're gonna fuck with it, right? Oh wow, he just kind of bullied his way past me, didn't he, uh, Jason? You may not be alone.
get in there, take it slow. Take it slow. Slow it down. Somewhere right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think it's too late for him no matter what. You know? I've made my peace with Joey being dead. Cautious. Shoot at me, I shoot back. Are we seriously having a firefight right here? Oh, is that a grenade? A grenade! Oh no, we're separated! Fucking aura. This is mailman three to mailman two, one actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is mailman three to mailman two one actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. The radio's dead. Oh no, Nick, you're in big trouble. No. Man. This is rough. Keep thinking that there's like a little side room and then there's not. Hey, move over. I'm sorry, okay. It took him like an awkward step there for it to initialize. Is that clicking like echolocation? I think it is. Over there, there is a demon. That lends more to the theory that it's like some kind of bat. We can get through this, but only together. Okay. I trust you, Salim. I don't know if Nick does. Like bats. They hear you. They hunt you. It sounds like you're making Seem a lot of noise. Their weakness. They burn in sunlight. I like this any is... living being, they can be killed. Stake through the heart. Your bullets will only slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry we do this together okay what's he gonna do scream for help we can kill it you move into a flanking position and get its attention I will do the rest <laughs> after you Superman let's do it I'm ready Let's do it. Oh. Can't kind of be careful not to make any sound. I assume when Salim was like whispering very loudly to me that that was just dramatized, you know? Like really he would have been whispering inaudibly. But that doesn't make for a very good game experience. You need to be able to hear him, so. Okay, we're slowly making our way. Yeah, I don't want to distract him just yet. We're getting pretty close. Now, if I was playing this co-op, I guess my co-op partner would be playing Salim right now. And they're doing a great job. I have to say.
Man, it's just kind of taking its sweet time, huh? What's it doing? Oh, it's bad now. We did it! Is it dead? Or is it just like the car situation? I've seen ugly in my life. But never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. Yeah. Well, we can keep marveling at it, or we can figure out. What do you think those things are? Next steps. You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. Great. I, I shouldn't be here. We're both clueless. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. It's his birthday today. I'm sorry. Um, didn't they say earlier that Nick, like, killed someone? Is the woman he killed Salim's wife? Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I'm going to change the setting real quick. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to... Um, Enable V-Sync, whatever. Probably doesn't mean anything to most of you. Man, you really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> They're bonding. Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to you make sure you make it home today. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only thing keeping me going. Well, anyway. if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K. Sergeant. Selim Osman. Lieutenant. Iraqi Army. And all it took was a giant so flesh-eating monster to bring them together. Mailman two and actual, it's Mailman three. How copy over? Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends, but they're not doing anything dumb. It's okay. You like Jason. You like Jason. Um, listen, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. Now you like Jason. Yeah, yeah. See, I saw that in the premonition. Down! Down on the fucking floor! Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, okay. everyone, take okay. a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Oh no, things your escalated. Your tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon, do it now! No, you lower yours first. Uh -oh. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! Okay. Pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba and the 40 Thieves is the last fucking thing you'll do! Okay, Jason. I didn't come this far to die by a trigger happy American! Well, but no, I'm not trigger happy! You saw it firsthand! Okay! Hand. You saw it firsthand! Enough! There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. Okay, Jason, you got the temple, super aggro for no reason. Up. If he tries anything, put him down. <clears throat> okay, well, I feel like Salim got a raw control. deal. Thanks a lot. Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. 
We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This plane's a bust. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Okay. Slim really got a raw deal here. Seriously, man. Is that thing dead? I'm not convinced. I saw a car fall on it earlier and nothing happened. Oh, are we we're going back to the temple? Okay. Eric, have you been drinking? Oh no. Are you gonna interrogate him? Oh no, he's offering him some. He's drinking water. Suit yourself. <laughs> I thought he was like grief stricken, drinking alcohol. I want you to tell me everything you know about these creatures. Have you seen them before? Do you know where they came from? He doesn't know anything. I hope you are a believer, brother. When those things come back, you're going to need higher power to pray to. I hate to break the news to you, but Eric doesn't believe in that stuff. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. He's crafting an audio log for the next game. And will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. You're gonna perform an autopsy, okay. Dude, what if he's like, this skeleton, it's, it's human. Wouldn't that be crazy? Find a hole. Okay, you dork. Is that really necessary? That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. Wow, they they got this whole phasmophobia set up over here. Damn. You ever think that you're causing a whole lot of noise? You ever seen Fellowship of the Ring? Fool of a took. Reset that tripwire. Give me a hand. Reset the tripwire. Does We've everyone know about the tripwire? Situations wire? before. Oh, never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. DFFs. Don't bank on anything. Why would I say that? Why would I say that? You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Don't bank on that. What? Who would say that in that situation? Dude, if somebody Something said that else. to me in this situation, you think? I would flip out. I know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Oh, yeah, he is kind of... Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. This about the girl at the checkpoint? Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Um. I don't like either of those, so I'm just gonna say anything nothing. Anything else you wanna add, Sergeant? Well, no, I, I yeah, didn't say anything. That's what I thought. Mailman 2 1 actual. Okay. This is drop kick. Request update. Over. Nick just won the argument. 2 1 actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. Over. Good work, Lieutenant. Through the eastern corridor and be on your guard. Over. I hear you. 
Over and out. I thought of an inappropriate joke, and I chose not to say it. At approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, winged. Thank you. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Yeah, we can all see. We can all see that. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath yeah. it is disease, almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. You know... I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. I'm sorry to pause it, but they just never shut the fuck up, do they? I just remembered, earlier, we found that skull that I thought was weird. I th wasn't, it, it looked like a human skull. And it was like, it, it had like a hole, like, right at the front of the mouth, where the teeth would go. Where that thing has two big front teeth. Hmm. That's interesting. I remember seeing that being like, what well, does that have to do with anything? Okay. Those things must have come through here in the force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Yeah, but then they Before died. They got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. Okay. So, so what are we doing right now? All right. Well, hope the autopsy goes well, Eric. Peace. Fortify the temple. How are we going to do that? Are we going to cause another cave-in? I thought you guys were done with the cave-ins. Oh, <gasps> hey! Yo, this is where the Balathu guy was. It's the closest oh. I've been to hell. <laughs> Secret found. What is it? Bloodless corpse. So they're, they're, they they are like vampire bats. Explored. Oh, you and your explorers, dude. Oh, premonition. What was that one called? Tripwire. That's Rachel. Okay, so it goes off, and then what happens? And it kills her. So that's a way that she can die. So, if you don't know how the premonitions work in this game, there's uh, white premonitions and black premonitions. Um, I think the white premonitions show, like, good scenarios, good outcomes that can happen. So, like, this is, this is a white premonition. This is a black premonition, right? So that one that we just saw, the trip bar, that was a black premonition, so that can be a bad thing that happens. Interesting. Okay. I realize I never, like, you know, spelled that out, I guess. If you didn't know about it. Um, I would like to look over here. Just looking down there. So it's just a pit of dead, huh? Now, remember that black premonition? Somebody crawled out of it. Did you just spit down there? Jason. God. Calm down. Wait, what was... Oh? Fuck she do to deserve that. 
kill by stake through the heart. Staked woman. Hmm. Now this looks like one of those explorers, yeah. Right. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Nope, that was man. Oh no. Buffy? Haha. -ha. Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Jason's not very cultured. I don't watch those TV shows. Sure. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Yeah, I might want to go camping. <laughs> okay. What's this thing right here? Oh, uh, more reading. Stank a death and was littered with enough to be covered in flies. Crow thinks down here after robbing them. I pity those hapless wanderers. The fear they must have felt. This was not what he wanted to show us. An unearthly... Mm. When Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. That's Jason. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Eldritch? Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. You idiot! What mysteries lie below, I wonder. Undisturbed by the world above. You big dummy. That's why you're dead. That? Says they found something weird down here. Just some weird yeah, no paper. Shit. Can't read too good. Uh, wait, is this the way that we were supposed to go? And we've got everything else. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's go, I guess. Come on, buddy. Wow, you you really took the lead here, aggro. What's this? Is that like is that like a shell or crap. what'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Cylinder Beautiful. seal. Check out the carvings on it. Oh <gasps> wait, this is um um Karum's history of his people, isn't right it? Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. It's the history of his people, right? The the Gutians, right? Oh, well, that means the Pazuzu statue is right here, dude. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Um... Wire up the middle, plant them to the side. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right, they won't see this one coming. Because from what I remember in that, um, because I saw Rachel running through the middle, and she she tripped it. So we don't want to wire up the middle. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. I mean, is now the time to be beating yourself up about it? Straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? 
I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? I'll just, I'll say it. We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Oh, are we're you gonna serious? talk about this now. Been three weeks. It's been three weeks. It's hard. Wait, I thought it was a year. I thought they were together for like a year. Three weeks? Dropkick, this is Mailman. Oh, actual I'm sorry. stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Okay, I'm sorry, but they didn't give that the proper time. He just was just like, yeah, it's been three weeks. And then we moved on to the next thing. No, 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 no. Oh, well, if it's been three weeks, then we're definitely not revealing that to Eric. Give me a break. Uh, three weeks? Nothing. Nothing. What can you even learn about each other in three weeks? Give me a break. I thought they had been doing this for like a year, and I was like, well, I should probably tell Eric, like when I was playing as Rachel, like, yeah, it's kind of a big deal, you know, a whole year. Three weeks, though? Pfft. Okay. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. You got nothing to be pouting about then, Nick. Found a camera here. Let's head back. Absolutely nothing to be pouting about. Here we go. Here's Rachel. See, she's good. She's just kind of gooey. feet Eric Eric Where are you? I'm sorry. I <laughs> well, You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. You're fine, aren't you? Got my lighter. Oh, uh oh, shit. uh oh. Look, it's Pazuzu, y'all. There's a statue down here. That can't be anything good. No, no. Uh, we're staying away from it. Oh wait, but there's something over here though. Wait, what's this? I want this thing. Look, it's a photograph. Or, oh. 1979. Director of operations. Identity card. So this is. Hmm. That seems significant, somehow. 1979? What the hell? Okay. So it's up there, we're gonna have to uh, avoid it. Calm down. What's this? This is uh, the helmet of that guard guy. Oh, claw marks. Another secret found ancient helmet. Very cool. Put it in the Smithsonian. So I'm guessing that that kills me if I go over to it. But I wanna go over there. Let's go around the side. Oh wait, nope, nope. Whatever that thing is, it's over there. So I'm just gonna, oh, hi. Oh, Tough 
28th of December. God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. Okay. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. Hmm. Okay, 20th of December. Uh, God forgive us, for days we have studied this dead silent realm and its entombed abominations. Oh, that's... This is exactly what he just read. Okay, wait. Oh, sorry, this is... This is what I meant to read. 13th of December, so like... So this was two weeks earlier. Blank and I descended in the blank. I, what am I supposed to get from that? As we, I guess in the elevator, right? Mary and I descended in the elevator? I don't know. As we left, I was struck by the blank temperament. She seemed eager, almost manic in the face of our new discovery. When we reached the bottom, Crow could not prevent himself blank before us. Set in a dizzying vault lay a blank, loathsome, colossal and sleeping a great carcass built in overcome with awe i well very helpful thank you i'm so glad i read that i am so glad that i read that i i wouldn't trade the experience for the world okay is there something here i think this is just Oh, you thought you were going to get me with that, huh? Alright. Let's go. Yep. Had a lot of fun wading through the blood, but it's time to move on now. I'm sorry, but... I've been trying to hold back... Uh... I don't think Ashley Tisdale's a goofy looking person, but Rachel looks pretty goofy in this game. She, she just does. All right, you got a torch, nice. So what's on fire there? You just, you just like dug a bone out of a pile of Oh no. Watch out. Watch out, Ashley. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'll go back over here. That's not where I belong. I belong in this corner. In the words of Zoe from RE7. Looks like I belong here. In that horrible accent. What the hell is that light? What light? Oh, the green light? Yeah, I don't know, dude. You okay? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Shake it off. Shake it off. Like Taylor Swift. Shake it off. Why don't you look at a drawing? That always makes you feel better. See, look, what's going on here? Saliva, we have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. Oh gosh, I have to go over here again. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations with a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change to colors. I feel like this is, okay, this is uh, key info here. Black saliva. So it causes you to, it causes your heart to be faster, you to be scared, 
odd visual effects such as a change to colors. We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the sample. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms, psilocybin. So psilocybin mushrooms, if I'm not mistaken, are like magic mushrooms, like they're drugs. And it's interesting. So their saliva causes a drug-induced hallucinatory state? You know, okay, have any of you seen the Black Mirror episode? Um, is it called Man on Fire? Men on Fire, maybe? I believe it was in season three. Hmm. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. You know where I'm going with this. And if you haven't seen it, well, I'll just leave you in the dark. You should watch Black Mirror, though. It's a very good show. Uh, the episodes can be kind of hit or miss. But, like, some of them I watched, and I was like, I didn't really enjoy this one. Oh, I Amnesia Water Monster. Hello. And to say that you would enjoy an episode of Black Mirror is kind of a stretch anyway. But you get what I mean. Like, the ones that I liked, I really liked. Is my point. Where I'm trying to go with this. Okay, it is close. Dude. We need to move. I'm not gonna look back. I'm just gonna... There's no point in looking back. Sorry, I came over here. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, I missed it. Sorry. Oh no, Rachel. It's okay. You got a little boost. You got a little boost. Oh. I forgot about you! I forgot- I legitimately forgot she was alive. Or that we hadn't seen her. Alright! The two ladies meeting up in the Nature underworld. has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored. Okay, we're getting a good look Oddly at it now. Out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Really? It's like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Hey, some advice? You had your chance to talk. Yes, but the demon does not react well to sunlight. I would be very careful with that light. I said be quiet. Oh, boy. The bearing has been updated. Oh, he didn't listen to me. Oh, I got an achievement. Illuminating evidence. Who was that? Full check, is that you? Somebody's behind this. Somebody's skulking in the shadows. Is it Salim's boss? Uh. I'm sorry, who is that? Uh, Salim is free. 
Watch out, Eric. Oh, Eric, you were so bad at everything. Oh, he just stole away, dude. Damn you. <laughs> okay. Shit. Oh, damn you. Oh, shit. You're a dork, Eric. Go back in your tent. Go back in your little tent. Sabotage. Looks it's like, like the ice cream out. man. Sabotage. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Sorry, it looks Those like there's something on my nose in my peripheral vision. Though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Oh my god. Well, don't feel much like climbing out there. I'm sorry. What? Wait. What the fuck, Joey? Oh, they are transforming into them. Shit, Joey, it's me. Oh. You gotta, gotta get him in the heart. He's starting to transform, though. Oh, he got him with the light. Oh, bye, Joey. Sorry, I didn't prepare a, your mom joke for your return. Wow. Dude. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. <laughs> Rachel, you goofball. Say something back to that. Maybe say thank you or something? We don't know anything about Clarice. She's been like the least developed of all the characters. And she's been gone up until now. that you could fight yeah me either what was that thing i don't know whatever it is it's not alone where have you been one of those things got its dirty hands on me dragged me down here left me for dead fuck left you for fuck dead doesn't even start to cut it can't believe you survived down here for so long maybe i should use you for bait that might actually be fun what are you talking about if I hadn't shown up in time, it would have been adios, Rachel. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm... I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. You just you learned find that. find a way out of this hole. <laughs> so, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? She's not wrong. Clarice, you're looking a little pale. Are you okay there? Looks painful. Yeah. <sighs> it is. Think you can keep still? Clarice the Vampire Queen. Appreciative or restrained? Thanks, Clarice. I, I guess appreciative. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little glad, too. Great. Now we're gonna have this little chat. What is that? I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. 
Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. What is... There's something weird Look going on. It. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can climb a gym rock wall. Something funny you want to share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked. We don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm going to get through this. And if you want to, you better try and keep up. Okay. Oh, 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 get ready for QTEs. I'm ready. I'm ready for QTEs, I think. <laughs> Whose sandaled foot was that? <laughs> Balathu? Karoom? Is that, was that his foot? Was it the woman I speared? You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. You are seriously so pale. Look at how pale she is. You look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's got to be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. She's going to transform into one of those things. A hundred percent. Give me the silent treatment, huh? Let's focus on survival. I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is you don't even see it. What? So what do you what want exactly? me to say? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not not even a wall, a mountain. Now's Tell not the me, time Rachel. for emotional getting to know you time. We need to survive. I gotta be queen bitch right now. It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? That wasn't that playful. And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> easy Street? I had to graft to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> okay, here it goes. When are you gonna grow your teeth? <laughs> yeah, left for dead, my ass. Left to transform, maybe. <laughs> left to transform. Please. What did that thing do to you? Please. Please don't leave me down here alone. Okay. It's okay. I'm here. I promise that you'll stay with me. Uh, I can't promise anything, Jesus. I won't leave you. I promise. But you have to tell me. We don't promise. What did that thing do to you? It bit you, didn't it? It bit you. It bit you. There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. Oh, the medication ain't doing shit. Oh, you're fooling yourself with that. You're fooling yourself with that one. Thank you for not making me do QTEs on the wall climb. I appreciate Give that. Give me your hand. Super massive. If you're listening, you're not. But if you are, <laughs> thank you. We're on the wrong side of the chasm. 
We'll never make it. God, you were such a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Just push her off. Don't quit on me now. Just throw her over the side of the cliff. Uh, what is it? Swing over. What is it attached to? That rope won't hold. No, it won't. You're right. Cause what is it attached hey. to? Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Doesn't look good. We don't know enough about those things. Come on, Rachel. Don't bullshit me. I don't think it's gonna do anything. It doesn't look good. Truth is so overrated. Well, you asked for it, didn't you? If it happens, if I turn, I'm gonna get you first. You have to kill me. If you turn, I'll do it. If you turn, it won't be you I'm killing. Yeah, I barely know you as a character, so it really doesn't affect me at all. I just, I just, I completely forgot you even existed. So, oh. Man, a little more notice would have been nice. I don't know. I hope you don't transform right now and can't get across on the rope. That would be a shame. Help or abandon. Ow, oh, well, help. She's Maybe it's best dead. I don't. What do you mean? Just do it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Goodbye, Clarice. <laughs> Bye, Clarice. <laughs> okay, if you insist. <laughs> if you insist, you gotta twist my arm, but. See ya. Yeah, why don't you just, why don't you just fall over? Where are you going? I'm very confused by that. They make it seem like you could save her. You can't save, no way, no way. She's not one of the five flames. She's not one of the five flames on the curator's desk. No, there's no way she lives. All right, I'm thinking that that's probably a good place to end it for this video. So yeah, House of Ashes part two coming to a close right now by executive order from me, the guy in charge. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the playthrough so far. We'd love to hear your thoughts, just kidding. Uh, but leave them anyway. Don't take that just kidding too seriously, okay? You guys get too serious about things sometimes. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which may be the last one, or maybe it'll be another one after that. We'll just have to see how things go. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'd like to figure out what's going on, though. It's kind of driving me nuts. It feels like, feels like I'm almost there in terms of figuring out what's going on, but I'm just not quite making the connection yet. Hopefully that'll change in the next episode. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Think critically. <laughs>